So as you may well know, in Forza Horizon 3 I did a lot of Forza Thon videos, uh, a lot of guides, uh, and I haven't been doing that much lately as I've been doing other Forza Horizon 4 videos. But I'm going to get back into the swing of things, starting this week with a Forza Horizon 4 Forza Thon called Thoroughbred, uh, which is all about the Caterham. So let's get stuck in here. First of all, we're going to look at this week's prizes. Uh, so you can win the 1988 BMW M5 Forza Edition, the 1965 Hoonigan Gymkhana 10 uh, Mustang, and a couple of patrol hats, and of course your super wheel spin, a normal wheel spin. But let's have a look at the challenges here. So the first one just wants you to own and drive the 2013 Caterham Superlight R500. Uh, the second one here wants you to get five threading the needle skills in your Caterham R500. Very, very easy. Uh, third challenge here wants you to get nine stars so a total of nine stars across various danger signs again in the caterham r500 and the last one wants you to win four road circuit events in your caterham r500 so you're going to want to first of all select it um, obviously this can only be done in the caterham super light r500 now you can do it in the forza edition but i'm going to do it in the standard one just in case you guys don't have the forza edition um, i did make a tune for this because it will make life a lot easier for you guys uh, you can find it in my storefront it's called forzathon easy uh, link to my storefront and stuff is in the comments below so to do the first challenge, all you have to do is select your Caterham R500 and leave your house or the main Forzathon show, uh, and that's the first one completed. Now the next one wants you to earn five threading the needle skills. Now if you're not aware of what threading the needle skill is, I'll show you in a second. But first of all, I recommend you go into Horizon Solo. Uh, the reason is there is a higher density of traffic, so AI cars in Horizon Solo, which will make this challenge a lot, lot easier for you instead of doing it online with other people. Now, a thread in the needle skill is very, very simple. It's just getting two near miss skills in between two cars. Uh, and the easiest place I recommend doing that is on the motorway. Now, you can do it like you just saw there if you weave in between a couple of cars in the traffic uh, or if you've got one on either side and you just shoot through the middle of them it doesn't matter just make sure obviously the thread and the needle skill pops up it's just a couple of near misses in between cars it's very very simple and very very easy and of course you have to do it in the Caterham R500 super light uh, now like I said the tune that I use does make life easier and I will show you later where it will come into play uh, but here you go, five of them, it took me a couple of minutes, very, very easy. Now the next one wants you to earn a total of nine uh, stars on various danger signs. So obviously I just filtered the map to show me all the danger signs available. Obviously because of my tune it's made life a lot easier if some of them uh, are on dirt tracks for example. Now the good thing about this and I will show you in a minute is you can just do it on the same danger sign over and over. So if you find that you get three stars very easily on one of them just do it two more times and you'll get nine stars and it will all count. Here I'm just showing you two various ones that are very very easy to do in the Caterham R500. Um, so the first one you saw here it's not hard at all. Um, and the second one is where I'm going to show you can do it twice. So it's Ambleside Edge. And I think you only need 600 feet, and I'm sure a lot of you guys know this is one of the first danger signs you unlock. It's probably the easiest danger sign on the game, uh, purely because you get a huge run up, um, and it's very, very simple to fly over the three star, um, well, however many stars you need. Um, but yeah, very simple. There you saw almost got a thousand foot on the first run, um, and as you can see, I just showed you there, that's second attempt out of three, so that's six stars. And here it is for the final attempt. So same danger sign straight after the first um, attempt, 983 feet. And if you wait for all the little bits at the bottom to go all the stats and stuff, uh, you will see that that all counts and there's three lots of three stars which got nine stars overall. So very, very simple. Now the next one wants you to win four road circuit events in the Caterham R500. Now just to clarify, it means the circuits. So not these sprint races, but the circuit races. Make sure you don't use the sprint ones because they will not count. Uh, and again, with the danger signs, you can use the same race over and over again, um, and it will count for all four attempts. Just make sure you win them. So I did the Moorhead Wind Farm circuit and I made a blueprint for it. Now you can find the blueprint if you're on my friends list or if you search for it. Um, and I recommend you guys do this too. It's not hard. I did it just for Caterhams and I changed it from three laps to one lap. Yes, it still counts if you do it to one lap. So it's about 40 seconds a lap. Uh, it's very, very quick and easy. It won't be hard to win. I did it just to Caterhams uh, to obviously even the playing field. And this is mainly where the tune that I made will come in handy. 
it makes short work of all the other race cars, all the other AI drivers. It's very, very easy. Uh, so this was the first attempt, uh, which obviously I won, which therefore means that's one out of four attempts, as I will show you here. Uh, and then I just did it three more times on the same race. So obviously you'll go back into the Moorhead Wind Farm Circuit race onto Solo, go over to custom events so either using your one or if you've downloaded my one uh, and then you can find it again now I did make a new one uh, called Forzathon R&R with R&R being rinse and repeat um, because if, if you guys don't want to make one it's very simple to download my one and use it it's up to you guys again all you have to do is add me or find me as a friend um, and then search my storefront and you'll find the blueprints but there you see I did that four times won all four races and mission accomplished very very quick and very very easy not hard at all um i want to say a massive thank you for everyone's support it means a lot to me i really can't explain how much uh, like i said i will be doing a massive giveaway in forza horizon 4 soon uh please do tell me if you're struggling with anything in the comments uh, and i will try my best to help you out and of course i will be making more of these forza thumb videos to help you guys out but a massive thank you and all the best guys